On again. On again. That one took. Oh. There you go. On again. This might be a bit of fish, actually. There we go. Hooked up again. That doesn't feel too bad, actually. Yes, I snuck out for a fish on a um, <laughs> on a Friday. Uh, it was just too nice a day. I couldn't help myself. Just stunning weather, and oh man, what do you do? You know, sitting at home, weather report looked fantastic. Self-employed, like oh, I might just sneak out for a fish, and I'll work tomorrow, which is Saturday. Anyway, so I'll do a bit of work tomorrow and catch up. But it was just too nice a day. Beautiful spring day in Brisbane. You know, I'm just out in the bay or fair in our local area. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly where. Because <laughs> I want to keep that a secret. But anyway, I'm out here having a fish by myself. Uh, as you can see, you've got all the appropriate safety gear on. got life vest on, just in case, you know. You go over it, this inflates straight away. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, and I'm having a quiet fish in the tinny. In the big lap tinny, of course. And there she is. She hasn't got a name set up. A couple of rods out already. There's a Tohatsu on the back. See? Got the sounder in there. Of course, I've just got pretty much old school stuff happening. I've got a burly trail running out the back, out this thing, shallow reef out the back here. Um, I've done well out here before, but it's a bit hit and miss sometimes. Sometimes you do all right, sometimes you don't. And um, yeah, old school bait, you know, nobody big tackle comp um, company sponsors me, so, <laughs> so I'm allowed to use bait, you know. And uh, yeah, a couple of floating lines out the bag, or a floating pilly, some squid on the others, just long traces, give them a bit of movement in the water, and a nice burly trail slowly leaking out. And every now and then I throw over a handful of prawn shells to give up every secret I've got and the prawn shells, the snappers seem to love them. So we're out here chasing some um, you know, pan size snapper, occasionally get some big ones, just a pan size 35, I'll be happy with that, a couple of those, got dinner for a couple of nights. So what a place Morton Bay is. You can see Morton, if you look hard right out in the background there, and um, yeah, uh, that's stunning over there. Need a bigger boat to get there, but I've been there many times with bigger boats. So it is just a wonderful place, Morton Bay, um, and we need to look after it. You know, five minutes ago I saw a chip packet float past, and it was just too far out of my reach to grab it. But you know, these are the type of things we've got to stop. But anyway, look after this environment. It'll look after us. Look after the fish. Make sure we have our closed seasons, and that we. Uh, you know, allow that to happen and don't cheat because closed seasons are great for the, especially the spawning season. That's what the stocks in the Morton Bay of snapper seem to have increased a lot since I was a young lad, which is a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to keep fishing. If anything exciting happens, I'll turn the camera back on. Oh, we got something. We got something. I don't know what it is yet. The head shaking going on. Hope it's a red. That would be really good. Hope you can see that. There he comes. Oh, looks like it too. Let me get a landing net ready. Oh, look at that. There he is. I'm not too sure if that one is legal, but we'll have a look when it comes up. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. There you go, in the net. You beauty, hey? I think she might be a bit undersized. That's unfortunate, but still, we'll have a look. We'll check it out. Trouble is fishing with your hand. Selfie, you never have enough bloody hands. <laughs> uh, get rid of one object. Tuck that away nice and safe. And a loose line. 
Get him in the boat, right? There you go. I don't know if that's big enough, actually. I need 35 centimetres. Get the old rule out. Get the old rule out. Have a look, eh? Why do I always get stuck on that net? Yeah, take it easy, bastard. Take it easy. Take it easy. Ah. Well, she's not gonna go. Oh, it's close. Where are you going? About 31 to the tail. What a shame. He's gonna go back. He's gonna go back. That's disappointing. Anyway, at least it was one to say that they're here, huh? So, why not him? Right up again. Give another shot. Well, right again. When you know it, when you're trying to do things, you get hit. Yeah, it's not a feel like too bad a fish, but it's hard to tell. I don't think she's going to go legal, but we'll have a look. Snapper, another snapper, but she's only pan saw it. I don't think she's gonna go legal, unfortunately. She's a bit unfortunate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, I'm pulling the water, Frank. That would be bad. Oh, I'll lift this one. Definitely not legal that one. Alright, we can get him back in the water the better. So he grows up. There you go. Well, well there you go, We're on again. This might be a bit of fish actually. Hopefully we get a keeper out of these. Uh, maybe not, it's coming up a bit easy. Uh, to say, I won't go close. I won't go close. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, come here, come here. Uh, now again, trying to stay on your feet. A little tinny and that fish. There you go. That's three, but we're a bit short on size, I think. I think we might be just a bit short on size. Anyway, get him off. And we will see how we go. He's off. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it, but... Right. Give him a quick measure. There he goes. Whoop. Oh, she's just 35 to the tail. Just a keeper. Just a keeper. That's all right for me. That's all right for me, I tell you. I can do with the fish after all this hard work. <laughs> uh, just on there, just on there. That's good. All right. Into the fish bag. Get another bait, but I might actually get a bait out there and leave them in the tub for a little while until I can get a bait out there. No, no bait in the water, no fish to catch. Well, we're on again. We're on again. That one took some line. That feels like a good fish, actually. That feels like a good fish, especially on this little rod. Everything feels like a good fish. But <laughs> you're only running four kilo with a six, six kilo leader, so. 
it seems to get all the action but maybe the uh, lighter line and the presentation make all the difference but dead set that feels a bit better than the last couple which would be good there we go eh? take it easy Frank don't get excited mate don't get excited take it easy it's only light lines you just got to wear him out get him in get him in the net take it easy take it easy uh, well it does show we're fishing out of a little 12 foot tinny on local reef with some old techniques a bit of burly you know long traces light gear and you can pull some decent fish oh he's off again he's off again he's off again oh, not look too bad actually oh we've taken a bit of line this time let me get the old net uh, keep the pressure on keep the pressure on frank let him go let him go that's it Oh, he's taking a little line. This is a much better fish, actually, I think. This is a much better fish. Come on, up this way. No, 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 around the motor. Oh, he's still wanting to go. Come on. Yep. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Oh, I can swim him in the net. Swim him in the net. That's right. There we go. I think that one's well and truly legal. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Hey, look at that. I don't know if you can. Get it in camera, it's a bit hard. Okay. So I'm really sorry about some of the camera work, but when you get a tied to your chest, it's a bit hard to do. <laughs> Oh dear, that's what I was coming out here for today. Get rid of that, get it tidied up. Oh, she's definitely a good over 45, maybe 40, I don't know. Sorry, mate. Okay. Too well here. The other one just went off. Can you believe that? Oh. This stuff's a bit heavier with fishing with. Oh. oh, I don't know. That fish doesn't seem like it's too bad actually. A lot more drag on this. Oh, don't let the slack, don't let go slack, whatever you do. Really like to get this rod out of the way. Come on, come on. Get the boat on him. Oh, that's a good fish, that one. That's a good fish. it happens it's funny that isn't it right time of day right time of the tide 
I remember we're in, this is midday, it's lunchtime. Come back this way, come on. Come on, come back this way. Oh. He doesn't like the look of this boat. Well, if this is a snapper, if it is, it's a good one. Oh. Actually, felt some really, really big, any really big head shakes. I'm just waking up, so they were oh, no, no, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it might be a stingray. I think that might be a stingray. Sing that line, so we don't want to go too hard till I know for sure. Get off a touch. Uh, I haven't got a sting around, I'm wasting good fishing time. The bloody snapper is a good one. I can't see it yet, I'll get it up. No, it's a big stingray. Bastard. There you go. Bloody giant stingray, that one. We don't want that. Oh, come on. And he's going on until he's swallowed that hook by Oxford. it. Anyway, come here. You know, we'll try, so I'll take the knife to that as close as I can to the hook. I don't know, I'm not going to try and get that. They've got nasty barbs on them. Now, honestly, I do not want to get hammered back that drag right off. With a barb from a stingray. Uh, and I cannot. There you guys. You'll get rid of the hook pretty quick. Uh, trace is not too crash hot either, so I might have to leave that for a second. Fix these fish up, get a line back in the water. And uh Settle down. Wish I had a bit of snapper. Would have been a good one. I'll get these fish on ice and settle down so they're looked after because that's a couple of nights dinner for uh, the mermaid and me. I wish she was here. She would have loved this. Anyway, get these fish brain spiked and on some ice and bleed. Well, there we go. It's been a bit quiet for a little while but doesn't feel too big anyway. I got a sneaking suspicion this isn't going to be a keeper. Ah, it's feeling a bit small actually. What a shame. Could have done with another one. There he comes. There he comes. I think he's a touch small, unfortunately. Oh, and he swallowed the hook. He swallowed the hook. What a bummer. What a bummer. Alright. Uh, try to get this to happen. That's the least possible grief to him. I might have to just cut that off and let him get it out himself, actually. I don't want to kill him. Give me all the snack we can get. Keep it. Yep. Too very big, but he's bleeding a bit. Hmm. Well, I'm sure he swallowed that. Anyway, I won't show you all the gory stuff. I wish you want to know what I'm talking about, but if I can keep him alive, that would be good. Anyway. I just cut the line, I didn't try and get the hook out, it was um, pretty pretty well down and so I give him a chance he'll easily regurgitate that, get it down himself, just like a fishbone stuck I suppose. And uh, yeah, and they tend to rust out pretty quick in the salt water also so anyway.
that's why I use um, just standard steel hooks. Don't use stainless steel. Stainless steel they can't get rid of, and stainless steel won't break down the environment. So they go rusty. They'll go rusty in your tackle box after a while. That's better than hanging around the environment for you know thousands of years. There we go. Hooked up again. Oh, it doesn't feel too bad actually. The batteries went <laughs> flat on the GoPro before and on. I caught one keeper and well, a couple of small ones while in between trying to re-rig lines and mess around. I finally got another battery in the camera and oh, what do you know? We hook up on something. Hopefully it's another good snapper. That'd be good. We're just about bagged out. comes he's coming slowly doesn't feel too bad but you know this little rod's a bit hard to tell sometimes little flash coming up a little flow there he goes still got a bit of kick might go size might go oh, oh, oh. yeah it's not looking good no, it's looking a bit small I think unfortunately that's looking a bit small I'm going to leader him in. There you go. Oh, this is going to be a bit short on size on that one. The one in there is just legal, so I'm guessing this one's not going to be legal, but at least he's able to hooked. Oh, you can get it out pretty easy. Ah, it's only 30. I might go 32 if it's lucky. You're stretching him a bit. Too small. There, mate. No, it's all. Anyway, that gives me a chance to do some wrap up, I hope. Let me out of here in probably another half an hour or so. There and a bit of salt water, a bit of slurry. It's a bigger bag, but can't find small ones, unfortunately. There you go. Oh. I think I need to put a floor in this boat just for stability. Can't even bend it down ribs on it just make it a bit hard to stand up sometimes. I'm getting a bit old so I might need to um, put a floor on. I was trying to avoid it not put any more weight in it but anyway. Anyway we'll wrap up soon as soon as I start pulling everything in. Anyway I'm just cleaning up um, to show you a couple of things. That's a little burly bag. I don't know, I think I picked it up BCF or something. Uh, you fit one of those burly um, bombs in there you, you can get from the tackle shop. You know, that's lasted probably about three hours, maybe. I think it was a half kilo block. Anyway, it works well, does the job. Second little trick is to get yourself some prawn shells. So you've got to be careful with your prawns that your prawn shells are from local prawns. So you get them from local. Yeah, you know, we're lucky here. I've got Morgan's not far away, so I can get some prawns from there. It's hard work, you know. You have to eat them first. Oh my God, how terrible is that? <laughs> you got to eat them. Keep your prawn shells and you're filling, fishing these shallow reefs. You need a good burly trail, you've got to bring the fish to you, there's lots of fish around, so, well, I mean lots of water around. So this way is to bring the fish to you, and a good burly trail will do that. And every now and again, a handful of prawn shells. Not big heaps, just a handful thrown out every, and you'll find that the, and I've caught the snapper and they've got the prawn shells in their, um, in their stomach, so, it does work, and you know it works because Prawn shells are in their stomach. Uh, Alright, just get them out. Uh. Anyway, I'm going to tidy up. Uh, two lines left on the water. So I finish up tidying up and then I'll hit the toe.
Wind's just starting to come out of the north, or oh, probably east, due east nearly. So where are you? It gets a bit, a bit of rock and roll here at, you know, in the afternoon. On the bays, always got its afternoon sea breezes, especially in summertime. I mean, sorry, in springtime. Spring? Yeah, it's spring. So, you know, best to head home before it gets up too high, especially in a little 12 foot tinny. It's not where you want to be, in a, you know, when it starts blowing 20 knots. It's just no fun. <laughs> no, it's a good little boat, but very seaworthy for its size. So, anyway, I'll pack up, head for home soon. Well, there you go. I don't know if you can hear me too well. You know, a bit of wind, probably. Um, but we'll give it a crack anyway. That's it. Mud is going. Pull the anchor. I'm out of here. Uh, it's getting late in the afternoon. Well, not late, but in the afternoon, two o'clock. Um, this spot only seems to fire from high tide to about half tide, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, you know, you're only in probably three and a half meters now. Uh, at high tide it's around five meters and around that five to four meter mark they seem to fire up <laughs> once you get a bit it gets a bit lower than that all you get is bloody um grinners grinners think about it right grinners <laughs> uh, grinners and stingrays anyway it's a low tide it doesn't fish at low tide it only fishes on the run outside from high down yeah uh, low tide doesn't fish for a well at all yeah uh, it's just too shallow anyway i'm getting out of here the wind's come up, time for me to go home, clean the boat, and hopefully make the fire a factor of appointment. No, my back doesn't feel too bad. Must be the fishing, eh? Just gonna tell the missus. You go fishing, the back gets better. I don't think she's gonna buy it. But anyway, I'll have a crack at it. Alright, cheers. Catch you next time. Oh, before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm so bad at this. Please, it would be really great if you threw a few people subscribe, if we can get to that thousand one day, that would be pretty amazing, yeah, alright, cheers guys.